Hello, YouTube family. It's a family affair. It's a family affair. Thank you for coming back. And thank you, thank you, thank you for subscribing to my channel, looking at my videos, hitting that like button, sharing my videos, and then coming back for more, for more, for more. Okay, but this is another must-see video, a video that I have put together on none other than your favorite, or she may be a foe. I don't know how it goes, pretty much, because I like them all, but I deem to talk about them all, too. But anyway, Kenny Moore's out there on the streets doing interviews, especially with Two Fab, okay? The blog columnist over there, the staff writer reported, gave a salacious story today on Miss Kenya Moore saying Nene Leakes is threatened by her and she needs to see counseling. <laughs> I'm like, Kenya, if you don't go sit your behind down somewhere, girl, go sit yourself behind. You're behind down in a soft, comfy chair because you done bumped and hit your head, okay? Both you and Nene Leakes both are threatened by each other, and you both need to sit down and be counseled by somebody. That's my honest opinion because you're looking at a mirror. You want to be her, she want to be you, and both of y'all want the spotlight and can't seem to share, all right? That's what I'm getting from both of y'all. Y'all are the only two trying to have that number one spot on that number one rated show. <laughs> and y'all just keep bumping your own darn heads because y'all both are split down the middle. You have a lot of people like you. You have a lot of people that don't care for you at all. Same thing with Nene Lease. A lot of people like her. Then you have ones that be like, uh-uh, if you don't sit your butts down and call her all kinds of names and this, that, and the third, but we don't do that. I don't do that. I ain't going to say y'all don't do it, but I don't do it. I don't get into really all of that nonsense of calling people names out their names. I pretty much go with Nene or Kenya. They ain't acting right. They acting straight up hood, okay? And that's what they giving me now, hood mentality. Both of them going after each other, and then they straighten up and try to fly right when the season starts. But okay, here we go. Uh, a staff writer wrote it out. Her article was titled, Kenya Moore says Nene Leakes is threatened by her and needs counseling. All right. The article goes in to say the mere presence of me makes her lose control over herself. Kenya said to Nene, I'm like, Kenya, should you be having that control and all that, all the aunts and all that magnetic type pull for a man? Okay, he's supposed to lose all sense of thought, time, and space, and all that, because he's just overwhelmed with your beauty, okay? But Nene Lisa, I stay, you girl. <laughs> you and Nene Lisa are cut from the same cloth. You both are mean girls, mean-spirited at times. But I'm going to look. I'm going to take the higher ground. I know y'all just giving us that for TV. I cannot imagine you all going through life and living this type of way. And, and affecting other people. Maybe a little bit Nene, because I've seen her get down on people trying to harass her, she says, when she's out in the public and don't want to talk to them. Okay? So we've had some few incidents on her at the airport. But anyway, it goes on to say, Kenya Moore believes Nene Leakes is threatened and bothered by her and should seek counseling for it. During an interview with Bravo Insider, Released Tuesday, the Real Housewives of Atlanta star dished about her strenuous relationship with her castmate. From the long-running reality show. The mere presence of me makes her lose control over herself. Ooh-wee. I mean, if she comes undone, honey, she comes undone. Can you say it with a wave of hand gestures? Okay. I'm like, can you stop that? Okay, you come undone too. When Nene hit them right buttons, she be pushing on your behind. Anybody can come unhinged. If you say something that hits them to the very core, Come on, baby. You can do better than that. You can, your boy. You twirl. You twirl. You twirl. Okay. She goes on to say, I still don't know why, but she is threatened and bothered, and she doesn't want me anywhere around. I don't like being in the middle of anyone's drama, but it just seems like Nene makes an issue for me to have any friends. She has some major issues, and I think she really needs to seek counseling for that. A lot of counseling, the former beauty queen added. Okay, the pair have had a long history of feuding after Kenya joined the show for season five in 2012. Last season, Kenya was demoted to a friend, but that didn't stop Nene from calling her a monster when she entered a party during one episode. Now, Kenya is back 
as a housewife for the upcoming season 12. Um, I wouldn't agree with Nene. She just playing on her words. Kakia is not a monster. Now, she dresses up as the Grinch from time to time. We've seen that in the past. But a monster? No, not Kenya. But anyway, it goes back to say, I think I can be cordial with Nene. I think I can be friendly. But will I ever be friends with her? Absolutely not. She mused. Doing the interview. <laughs> I'm like, Kenya is right now perched on her throne. And she's just like elated that someone would give her an interview so she could talk trash about her co-star. <laughs> I'm like, come on, Kenya girl. Go and do that fakeness where you just say, oh, I like Nene. I don't have a problem with Nene. And then you just show us how really you really, really feel when you're on screen with Nene. Okay, but I, can't, I see you're not doing that. You're just going to play like, oh, she don't exist. But when she do exist, I'm going to pay her dust. <laughs> Kenya girl. Okay, going back to the article, it says, apparently Kenya has the bones as former Real Housewives of Atlanta star Sheree Whitfield, Sheree Whitfield would say no need to prove there's no relationship in their future. I've seen too many things. I know too many things. And she is not for me, Kenya explained. Kenya also revealed how Mark Daly is embracing his new fatherhood with their daughter, Brooklyn, who was born last November. Kenya and Mark split in September after two years of being married. Mark is a phenomenal dad to Brooklyn. He is completely and absolutely in love with her. He is a really loving and doting dad. She did tell. Now, my thing is, Kenya, I'm going to throw a file on play. The, uh, the, the file, the play that you made, I'm going to throw a, a yellow flag on it because I don't see Mark with her. Okay? You're here with her. He's in uh, L.A. or New York or I think it's New York he's residing in. Girl, when does he have time? Because he barely travels here. Oh, I'm sure you would try to put that on film any way possible. So uh, I doesn't. I really don't. I can't disagree that he is a good father. It's just he's a good father when he sees her, huh? Because they can't talk on the phone. But she'll just be drooling on it and saying "gaga, goo goo" and all that. She might notice his voice or familiar with his voice, but he got to do better, girl. He know better. He needs to do better, all right? He needs to be down here twice a month, if not once and his daughter, if you're not going to commute back and forth, okay? Y'all still need to have relationships with your uh, child, okay? You can't just have this telephone conversation or Skyping. They need to be physically touching each other, bonding. So, Mark, you know better, do better. Kenya, if you have to send her off with her dad on the weekend, then you must do that. You don't have to accompany her if you're saying he's an excellent father figure and he loves his daughter. Up, break them strings. Take them up, take on up there. Let her spend some time with her daddy, daddy. Okay. Going back to the article, it says, it's just a really beautiful thing, she said, she added. And, and as to which housewife would Kenya let babysit Brooklyn, Kenya couldn't decide between Candy Burris or Cynthia Bailey. Okay. Now, let's see, I throw another file on the play because I've been seeing you over and having play dates with uh, not uh, Portia's child, but you've been going over seeing Auntie, or that's the. Um, the abbreviated name you don't give given her or she don't gave herself Cynthia thinks she's the auntie auntie of the baby okay y'all went over there when you didn't have no lights when your lights went off or whatever you had to go crash with Cynthia why you didn't go over there and crash with Candace so see Cynthia Kenya's not your friend, honey. She's, she's saying things behind your back, but she's making you feel another way when she's in front of you. Hell, she didn't even invite none of y'all to the wedding, okay? Now, you, you see what I'm saying? She's saying you this and that to her daughter on one social media platform, and then on another, where she's doing an interview, she's like, I can't decide. I mean, it should be an easy decision. If Cynthia been there with you from day one, she done threw Nene to the left, to the right, and then completely out her out her life in a sense, since she's gotten up or uh, uh, partnered up with Mike Hill. What do you mean you don't know? Okay, so see, so see, can I? Have, I mean, uh, can you have to call file on play? You you doing dirty shit again? I told you, just when you turn a new leaf and you try to do right, some always pull you back in the mess, and I end up having to have to catch you in it every time and put you on blast. But okay, my Kenya followers, what y'all say about that? Okay, she was over there partaking of Cynthia's uh, digs when she didn't have no light for her, Miss Brookie Brook. Okay, because she was probably scared too to be in the house with the little baby. And she had to run on over there to the Bailey, Lake Bailey, and, and uh, 
cohabitate with um Cynthia for a few days, or maybe it was a night. Who knows? I tell you, that damn Kenya Moore. Moving back on to the uh, story, she's still saying she can't decide which one she will let babysit. Uh, Cynthia Baylor of uh, Candy Burris. Okay, well, Candy ain't got time because with that dungeon thing and all her many other uh, adventures out there, she's trying to uh, collect on money. She ain't got time, and then she's trying to bring these other two kids into fruition. No, nah, she's not your one <laughs> to be babysitting. So I think you need to stroll on over there to Cynthia Bailey, if Cynthia Bailey would have you after you don't made this comment about her. Okay, at least I'll be second guessing your side eye on you and not answering your phone calls or text messages. Okay, but anyway, going back, it says, uh, watch all the drama between Kenya and Nini unfold as the Real Housewives of Atlanta returns on Bravo, November 3rd. Okay, oh, I got my uh, calendar already fixated. I already got it, you know, circled and highlighted because I'll be sitting there with my popcorn and everything else or maybe a slice of cake. Who knows? Or hell, maybe my Sunday dinner. <laughs> But we will be in tune and ready to give some commentary after it, uh, you know, goes off. All right. After the airing, of course. But y'all, that's all I have for this video. Y'all get down in them comments. Y'all go over to uh, twofab.com if you want to read the article for yourself and make sure I didn't miss anything or I didn't leave anything out that I should have spoke on. But I think I pretty much covered it for us. All right. But um, again, like and share my videos and definitely subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Okay. And I'll see y'all next video. Take care. Bye-bye.